So let me ask you this question. People need to know. When are the RTX 3090 going back in stock? It's driving me crazy. Plus, I'm still waiting on my Ursa Mini Pro 12K. It's like, what is going on? It's not like there's a pandemic going on, right? So answer that. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did that video I just showed you all in the introduction. I'm going to show you how I put a Character Creator 3 into iClone and then send it to Unreal Engine 4 for export and render. So with that being said, I am going to be breaking down this tutorial into multiple parts because as you all know, I like to keep my video short and sweet. But we're going to go ahead and get started in Character Creator 3. So this is what you're going to see whenever you open Character Creator 3. I am not sure why she's not wearing close but you know that's that's not my problem but basically we're just going to download the free character that comes with character creator 3 and if i go all the way here and it's this guy i'm gonna go ahead and replace this girl bald girl i think um i'm gonna replace her and load up a new character so that you guys can follow along in this tutorial all right guys so now that we have the character imported by just doing a simple click uh, I am going to be playing this character as you guys saw in the beginning of the video. So let's go ahead and just kind of tweak him to... I mean, he looks kind of like me, but something is missing here. So select the character itself and then go to the Modify tab. If you go to... Now, this is not a Character Creator 3 uh, tutorial, obviously. This is just kind of like the workflow and how I made that video. So you guys can, you know, start editing and making your own. If I go right here in this Morphs tab... Um, we're just gonna make sure that it matches my physique just a little bit. So if I go to uh, Caleb CC3 body and I just kind of, you know, just increase that a little bit and that should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and save this project. Save project as, that's not the name that I want. That's for my other project. So let's go ahead and do this another tutorial and I'm just gonna go create that and save that as that file name and that's really all we need in character creator 3 now you can mess around with it like i said you can change whatever you want but for the sake of this tutorial let's go ahead and send this baby to iclone send character to iclone and that's going to open up iclone 7. so as you all know i am not sponsored with any of these guys i am just using it and uh if you think this thing is really expensive. If you are a student, they are offering some discounts. I think it's 60% discount on all their software. So definitely check that out as far as Relution goes and whatnot. So yeah, uh, if you guys want to mess around with this software. And it, I'm pretty sure they do have a free trial as well. So now iClone 7. iClone 7 is similar to Unreal Engine 4. But what I kind of use iClone 7 is for animation. Animating the character creator 3. And I'm going to tell you one of the great things about this workflow here in a second so all right so we have this guy in here now and your character is probably not gonna look like crap so it's probably gonna look like this and i'm gonna show you why it looked like crap when i opened it in a second okay so when you open the character hopefully it looks like that i'm gonna go ahead and save this project as well not in the test to clone we're gonna go ahead and open it here okay so that's good that's what you should be looking at um and the reason why I had the quality to minimal is because my computer is three years old, going on four years old. So it's not really the newest. It's not the greatest uh, computer out there. It, it has like a 1080 in it. So it's not that good. It has 11 gigabytes, but the CPU is pretty old. And it's really not meant for this kind of thing. So that's why I had that into... Um, uh minimal and we're gonna go over that a little bit more all right so now that we have the uh character creator character in iclone 7 let's go ahead and load some animations for this guy now for the animations i use my own motion captured animation that i captured using perception neuron version 2. so yeah let's go ahead and dive into axis now this is axis neuron perception neuron software so i already have the motion capture now if you want to know how to set this motion capture up Noitum, the people that make Perception Run, they have a lot of videos on how to do this, uh, so I, I'm not even going to make one. But basically, I strapped on my... So basically, I put on my upper body 
motion capture i didn't do the legs because you know in this character was kind of just sitting down so we don't need the legs if you want to include the legs that's fine uh but yeah here is the little animation that i recorded so you can see there talking with hands now i could have included my fingers as well but i just didn't do it because honestly i was just testing it out to see how the workflow is gonna go all right, a couple of tips when you are doing this. Now, you can have your motion capture device and you can have your iPhone for the facial capture, but if you have an older computer like I do, it takes a lot of power for you to do live recording. I know somebody asked me that on YouTube. Do I do this live? Record it live? The answer is no. I do it offline because my computer is older. So what I do is... I have the motion suit on and then I will perform and act and say the dialogues with that thing on and then what I will do and I'm going to do it in this video as well later is record the audio and the facial after and then what we'll do is just combine that the facial and then the body in iClone and put that together and just sync them up. So that's the workflow that I'm showing you guys here. You can record it live, but it's gonna take a lot. So here we go, here we are. And then all we're gonna do now is just export this animation so that we can import it in iClone. Okay, so in Access Neuron, what we're gonna do is file export, and then we're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna put this in a folder where we're putting everything else. And then what we're gonna do here is, we're actually gonna do process BVH, cause that's what uh, iClone likes. Uh, head frame for the t-pose so it's going to add a t-pose there and we're going to name this another animation All right we're going to go ahead and take that whole thing and it's fine press export and this is going to do its thing all right once that's done we're going to hop into 3d iclone exchange 7 now this should be included in iclone if not you're probably going to have to buy it separately and that's kind of one of the things when buying relution products is before you purchase something do your research because you will need some additional stuff to do what i'm doing here and i'm going to talk a lot about it as i go along so that being said go ahead make sure you have iclone 3d exchange 7 we're going to go ahead and open and we're going to go to our new folder, which should be another. Open that up, and it's going to import that animation from Perception Neuron into the 3D Exchange. I know it stinks that you have to go through this software. You can't just bring it straight to iClone, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do, right? So now, as you can see right here, we have that T-Post we inserted in the very beginning, and then it should jump to what we're doing you kind of see how slow this is this is not even playing that's pretty bad playback there and it's because it's just my computer right so we're gonna go all the way to the left and you're gonna see the t-post again and then what we're gonna do is go to the right side of here and then what you're gonna do is go to the scroll down and this is kind of confusing you have animation here and you have a uh, character right here so under performance editor we're gonna click that animation and then we're gonna click convert to non-standard and that's going to do its thing. Right here, we're going to go from custom to Maya Human IK. And you guessed it. You can convert 3x Max, Biped, Das4, and uh, Maya Human IK. And you're going to see this green light right here. Go ahead and make sure you have active. We're going to put T-Post. That's good. And then after that, make sure that's green. Everything looks good to go. Convert. All right. And then press OK. That's good to go right there. And then what we're going to do is scroll up to animation. Now we're going to go back to iClone 7 here. And we're just going to make sure that this guy is also selected. So click him right there. We're going to go all the way to the left and then go back to, to the, uh, and then go back to iClone 3D Exchange. Click the animation. Sorry, click this right here animation, not performance, animation. And then all we're doing is apply to iClone. And this should send that animation straight to iClone if you see right here under motion now you see him performing that same animation that we just imported from perception neuron all right so with that being said you will see that my computer is starting to really crap out and that is why we turn this to minimal all right guys so for the sake of the pc i'm gonna go ahead and close this for now so i am kind of freeing up some space i am recording this as well so here is our character we have a t-pose and then the character is gonna start acting up now one of the problems that i noticed right off the bat is when i was recording and capturing this motion using perception neuron i was actually looking down a lot you're gonna see that here you see that 
I'm looking down a lot and I don't like that. So I was looking down a lot because the phone was lower. So I had the head strap on for the motion capture and that captured it, but that's not a problem. We're going to go ahead and fix that right now. If you go back to just go right here, just right after the T-pose, right there we're gonna go back to our motion and then this is kind of tricky i actually don't like how this works so just follow along click the character and then we're gonna go to this and that's gonna bring back your motion tab if you go down go down to motion layer and then what we're gonna do under motion here in the top right animation we are going to edit motion layer click on the head and we're gonna rotate that just a little bit up like so, close it, and that should create a keyframe, and now his face should be up majority of the time. And that looks much better than what I captured it, which is kind of cool, alright? And if you want to mess around with it some more, you can, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to go with this. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. So now we have the motion, and... Ooh, in iClone, so what do we do now? Well, what we're going to do now is actually add some uh, facial animation on this character as well using an iPhone X iOS uh, iOS system and using a live face which is another extra thing you have to buy from Revolution. All right, so now that I have the live face app on, I'm gonna go ahead and connect that to iClone 7. So to do that, we're gonna click on the guy and then we're going to go right here again, all the way down, Motion Live. Again, Motion Live is something that you'll have to purchase separately when you're doing this, okay? So keep that in mind. All right, so we have it right here. I'm just going to go ahead and type in the address from my phone, 92. It is better to actually uh, connect this via an Ethernet, but, um, you know, I'm just using it wireless right now. And then what we're going to do is click this little thing, click live face, and then connect it. And voila, now I am connected. And I'm going to move this a little bit. You see that green light? And now what I'm going to do is just preview this so you can kind of see it. I'm going to press preview, space bar. Ah, ah. All right, guys. So now that we're connected via Motion Live with the live face app in iClone 7, let's go ahead and do a facial capture. Now, like I said earlier, I didn't write anything down, so we're just gonna go ahead and freestyle this, okay? I'm gonna try my best to look straight because if I look away, the eyes, that's gonna get captured, okay? So let's go ahead and press record here, press space bar. Listen, I just wanna know one thing. Where is the Ursa Mini Pro? 12k I feel like it's been such a long time since I ordered it meow okay so now that we're done capturing let me go ahead and turn off the live face okay so now that we're back let's go ahead I already disconnected the live face app so that's fine I'm gonna close this because we don't need it anymore it's gonna disconnect the server and now we can play back uh, the animation, hopefully, if I go press play, oh, it's right here, <laughs> so right there, you can kind of see our facial animation and whatnot, a little great acting there with the face, um, if you want to see where that is in the track, you go here, and then click on expression, and you're going to see the puppet clip, right, here you go, acting, acting, now, over here for the FPS, uh, you want that to stay about 60 frames per second. If you have a better computer than me, then that's good. But that's why we kind of turn it down to minimal. Because if not, I wouldn't have been able to record that at all. So let's go ahead and save the project. And that's pretty much it. Alright guys, so now that we have this recorded in iClone 7, now it's time for us to connect this to Unreal Engine 4. But I'm going to do that in another video. So if you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll see you guys later.